Good evening, dear brothers and sisters. Good evening, Father. Welcome you all for this Holy Eucharist, along with Father Darrell and Father Valerian. And along with you all, I thank God for this day and for the gift of life given to each one of us. Especially thank God for the gift of himself to us in this Christmas celebration. As we participate in this celebration, let us lift up our hearts and our souls to the Lord, seeking his blessings, invoking his name, begin this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, Christmas is Christ becoming human. He has become human so that he can lift us up and take us back to his Father. For the times we have failed to co collaborate and cooperate with the grace of God, for not seeking his mercy and compassion, for having been strayed from him due to our sinfulness and have not prepared enough, let us be sorry and ask pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is King. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy for they see directly before their eyes. The Lord restoring Zion, break out together in song. O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Response, all the, all the ends, ends of, of the earth, earth have seen the saving, the saving power, power of God. God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Response, all, all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praises. Response, all the ends, ends of, of the earth, earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious songs. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. Response, all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son, whom He made heir of all things and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent 
than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you? Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me? And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. For today a great light has come upon the earth. Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to being. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but with God. And the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and full of truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are so fortunate, so opportune to be here this evening on this Christmas day to celebrate the birthday of Jesus, our Savior and our salvation. And what do we exactly celebrate on this day? Is it the external, the preparation of the crib? It is the Christmas tree? It is, is it the Santa Claus giving sweets or gifts? Or what, what is the total meaning of Christmas? What do we remember on this day? Christmas is a celebration of the condescension, <coughs> condescension and the love of God.
God coming down to us. This is a true incident that happened in Texas in 1987. A little girl by name Jessica was got trapped in the well casings and she went down. She went so down that she got trapped in the well most 20, 22 feet below the ground level. Everybody started to, look at, started to look around for this little baby Jessica. And as soon as they realized that she was down in the well in those casings, immediately they took action. They called the rescue team. Now, as you know and as we all know, when we are faced with circumstances, if we see somebody is in trouble or somebody comes and tells their problem to us, what do we do? Very often our human tendency is to give them guidance. Do this, do that, go here, speak to this man or do like this and you'll be okay. Go to this doctor, go to that doctor, go to this firm and we make people, we give instructions. In this case of Jessica, the family did not give instructions but called the rescue team and instead of giving instructions and asking her to find her way up, they went down and brought this little girl and rescued her. It is reported that the rescuers non-stop worked for 58 hours to rescue this little girl. In the Garden of Eden, what happened? With the sin of Adam and Eve, the entire humanity went down to the well of sin, was dragged into darkness of sin, and there we tasted death. And the consequence is spiritual death. And what did God do? Did he keep watching from top that we all going down, enjoying? No. As we heard in the second reading, today God has spoken through his son. He's voicing out himself through his son. He sent his son to lift us up from the fallen state of sin, that we may become one with him, may become graceful again. And this is Christmas is all about. It is about God rescuing us, no matter what, leaving no stone unturned to give us new life and restore us back to the state of grace. And therefore, dear brothers and sisters, every year, Christmas celebration is a commemoration of God coming down to rescue us and restore us back our identity, being called as sons, called as his sons and daughters. And with this, dear brothers and sisters, we receive a gift from God. And what is the gift of God? God taking human form, as we hear in the letter to the Philippians. God taking human form, becoming one like us, and along with becoming one like us in the person of Jesus, baby Jesus, we receive the gift. And what do we receive with Jesus? In Jesus, J stands for justice, E stands for equality, S stands for sanctity, U stands for uprightness and unity, and the S stands for salvation. So in Jesus, you and I are justified. Everything is balanced and restored back to its balance with Jesus. In Jesus, we all are treated equally as sons and daughters. No matter we come from which part of the world, or what cultures we follow, what religion we follow, we all are equaled. Restored. He restores the harmony among us. With his sanctity, Jesus sanctifies each one of us and restores back to us in sanctity. And with his uprightness, he restores us back to uprightness, bringing us back together, uniting us. He came in search that he may bring the lost together, unite them together. And yes, dear brothers and sisters, as for salvation, he is our saviour. Emmanuel, God with us, he is our saviour. For unto us, uh, Christ and saviour is born, bringing us salvation. 
you and I are saved by the action of God. God himself becoming the rescuer, coming down, taking the form of us, human form, and delivering us. So dear brothers and sisters, God has taken his step. He has done his part. Today it is our part, it is our chance and our opportunity to return back to God. And what can we return back to God? We can only return back to God, our true and genuine self, converting and amending our ways from all sinfulness, restoring ourselves back to the grace with the help of God. And he is here for you and for me, for all of us, to reunite the family. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, let us not waste the gift of Jesus. Let us not waste the gift of Jesus. We are here in this compound, in this premises. We are so fortunate. Many did not get time and are not allowed to come inside probably because the church is full. The place is full now. We cannot allow more people to come in. But you have been chosen. God has chosen us that we may become his instruments. Therefore, this evening, dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Christmas and the birthday of Jesus, let us carry this Jesus to wherever, to whomsoever we go. Take Jesus, meaning, taking Jesus, mean, meaning is justice, fight for justice, fight for equality and stand for equality. Always remain sanctified and sanctify others in our sanctity. <clears throat> Always live right, life of uprightness and truth. And also, in this we build the unity and bring the salvation to others. To do this, dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for one another during this Holy Eucharist. Amen. Let us all rise and profess our faith in God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. As we commemorate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ and glorify our newborn King. Let us pray with grateful hearts and unlimited confidence on this joyful day to God our Father. Let our response be, Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop Paul Hinder, our Apostolic Administrator, priest and religious. Lord, send your Holy Spirit upon them and make them strong witnesses of your message of salvation to all the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our prayer. For His Majesty, the King, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Royal Family, the ministers and the people of the kingdom of Bahrain. May the peace of Christ reign over this country and its people. May the presence of God in their lives inspire them to bring peace, hope, justice and prudence to all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. For all those who are forgotten, abused, and neglected, the poor, lonely, 
and dispirited those who are sad and mourning their loved ones may they experience the light of Christ shining upon them let us pray to the lord lord graciously hear our prayer while we thank god for our generous benefactors and donors we pray that god may fill them and their families with the grace and all the love that they need in order to continue to be true witnesses of jesus in all their good deeds let us pray to the lord 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 graciously hear our prayer for the soul of bishop camillo and all the departed souls may they find eternal rest light and peace in the kingdom of god let us pray to the lord lord graciously hear our prayer in moments of silence let us now pray for our personal needs remembering and praying for all those celebrating their birthdays feast days wedding anniversaries and those who have asked our prayers and those in need of our prayers let us pray to the lord lord graciously hear our prayer good and gracious father your son came and dwelt among us to give us light that dispels darkness fill our hearts with the joy of christmas and hear and answer our humble prayers we ask this to christ our lord amen, amen. dum 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 we drink gifts of glory and joy bearing gifts we traverse our far field and fountain more and more following God the star brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church make acceptable o lord our oblation on this solemn day when you manifest the reconciliation that makes us holy pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship we ask this to Christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you amen. and with your spirit lift up your hearts we we'll lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god to Christ our lord For on the feast of this awful mystery though invisible in his own divine nature he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages he has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself all that was cast down he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes into the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, those gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Paul Hinder, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, and now says to each one of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy that you they should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul and my shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let me remind you, the Holy Communion is only for those baptized and have received the sacrament of Holy Eucharist. If there are people from other denominations, please refrain from receiving the Holy Communion. Thank you. stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world, born in this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please be seated. <coughs> Announcements. December 31st Friday is the last day of the year. A Thanksgiving adoration will be held from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. to thank God for all blessing He has bestowed on us. You can participate in this adoration on first come first serve basis. On the regi online registration is required to attend Mass on Friday 31st December. The Christmas and New Year Mass schedule is displayed on the notice boards and on the church website. Flowers to decorate the altar at Manama for New Year services may be brought to the sacristy on Friday, 31st December by 12 noon. Dear parishioners, during this Christmas season, let us share with the poor and needy of our parish and share the joy of Christmas. All those who wish to help may contribute in cash or in kind. Please contact Mr. Johnson on 3927-0945 to donate these items at the church office. For more details, you may refer to the notice board. May God bless you and thank you. We will not be having the kissing of the statue of baby Jesus 
After the mass, you all are, you all are requested to please leave the premises as soon as possible, so that the parishioners for the next mass may come in. On December twenty-six Sunday, we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Dear brothers and sisters, together with Father Daryl, Father Valerian, and on behalf of all the resident priests, Brother Paco, the sisters and the church staff, I wish you a Merry Christmas to you and your families and all those following online with us. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Now, dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to look at the right and the left, front and the back. Look at each other within your face mask, smile a little and wish one another Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The reason I asked you to do that now because you are not allowed to do it once you exit the church. You have to vacate the premises immediately after the Mass. No socializing. It is very risky now. So, dear brothers and sisters, not scaring you, but for the safety of one another and all of us. I want to thank you for your cooperation and collaboration in abiding with the instructions given by the church. Time to time we have changed them. We had to do so to amend ourselves as for the instruction and mandates given by the authorities in Bahrain. So thank you for your patience, for bearing with us with the instructions. At the same time, a long queue to come in and now to exit also the instructions. So thank you and we pray that things will go well it is for our own safety. This is the only reason intended to have these mandates and instructions. Nothing otherwise. So now, dear brothers and sisters, as you leave the premises, those who are inside the church remain seated until and unless you are led by the ashes to wicked the premises of the church. Those in the courtyard will leave the premises first, immediately, not to attract any attention of those outsiders, those going out by the road. We had this morning, twice we had the officers visiting our parish to check if there was a big crowd. And as you know, we are in the yellow level, big crowds are not allowed. And so we have to be prudent and careful not to give an opportunity to, for them to speak or say something or close down the church. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, I highly appreciate if those from the courtyard will leave the premises first, you remain seated until you ask to live. One more very important thing, do not take pictures now. There's no time for taking pictures at the crib. It is raining also, or at the Christmas tree. You can visit the grotto also later. From tomorrow onwards, the church will be open for the visits. You can come from morning 8 to 12, evening from 4 to 8. You can come and visit the church. It's open in the coming days. So therefore, please limit your movements. Please leave the premises immediately. Once again, your brothers and sisters, we all please pray for you that the goodness, the love, the joy been brought in this Christmas may, may dwell in your lives, in your families, in your communities, and you may carry and share with others whomsoever you come across in your, in your lives in coming days. May God bless you once again. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas again. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy night, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God who willed that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to the shepherds by the angel. Fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers 
with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you and your families forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Wish you all a blessed evening ahead. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening.